in this video we're just going to make a little dummy um, cake topper. So I'm just going to put a little bit of corn flour on my work surface. And I've just dyed um, some fondant. So it's just normal fondant. It's just the Renshaw's one that I've got here. I've just dyed it like a turquoise. So I'm just rolling that out. Taking a little heart cutter. I'm going to cut that out. And you want something that's round shaped to take the bottom of the heart off. So we're going to take that off like that. I'm just going to smooth that edge down a little bit where we've cut it. And now I just want a small amount of white modelling paste, which is probably a bit much there. Size, just hold it against your little dummy shape so you can see if it's about the right size. So that's roughly the right size. So I've made it kind of oval and squashed it down a little bit to start with, but now I'm going to change the shape a little bit more. So I'm going to pinch it at the bottom just slightly. I want it to not be too long in the point, if that makes sense. And using a little modeling tool, I'm just going to down the top of it, put an indentation down the center so that we create a little heart shape. If you prefer to use a cutter, you can use a cutter, that's fine. Just a little bit of water in the center. And we're going to stick that in place like so. And now I've got a number four piping nozzle for cutting out some little holes with. So we're just going to cut a small hole out of either side. And going back to the blue, we're just going to roll a small handle. So we're going to roll it out nice and long. It might be a little bit long, this one. So we'll just hold it against our dummy so it's a bit long, so I'll pinch some off. I'll re-roll that out. Still a little bit long, so I'll just pinch a bit more off the end. Just try and round that end off a little bit. I'm just going to put a little bit of water either side. And then we're going to bring that up. Stick it either side of the heart, like so. And all you need to do now is let it dry. So you can make them in as many colours as you want. Now, you're going to let them dry over something that's a little bit curved. So I've got a big rolling pin. And I'm just going to leave it over there till it sets. They should be all right in a few hours' time. If you're unsure, leave them overnight. And then what you can do is just put a bit of buttercream on your cupcake and just stick those in the top. So they're really simple and quick to do, but they look quite nice and effective. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.